Hello and welcome to the 46th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at classes. It's just a quick introduction to classes. Classes are the reason C++ is an OOP language or object oriented programming. Basically you use objects and obviously as you will see throughout the course of the next few tutorials what objects are. It is also the meat of this language that makes it so powerful and popular. Many other popular languages that you'll come across use object oriented programming so whether you learn it in Java, in C++ or whatever this will serve as a good basis for learning other languages. Classes are an extension of data structure which we looked at earlier in this series using structs. Classes allow variables and methods to be contained then you create objects aka variables of these classes which have their own unique data so let's just open up our project and just create a simple class and then we're just going to create an object of that class and show you how it has its own data. So we just create a class using the keyword class, then the name of our class. So we put vehicle, spell vehicle right first, then curly braces with a semicolon at the end. And then you can put the scope of your method and variables. Sorry about that notification going off left, right, and center. So I'm going to put public. This basically means the, that its methods and variables that are public are accessible not only within the class but outside the class as well as in if you have an object instantiated you can access it via that object aka the variable. Now here we just put what we want to be public so int speed we'll cover the scope of variables and methods in the next part of this series so don't worry about that too much we'll put float age and we'll do void print function and to actually implement the function we, it's, there's two ways to do it actually you can do void the class name then colon colon then print function and then you do std cf or whatever you want your function to do this is just going to be a simple function let's say printed another way to implement this is to I'm just going to quickly delete this is to actually just do it in line. So if you get rid of the semicolon and you just put curly braces there, you can be on the same line, on a separate line, and then you can do your code. Uh, I preferably try not to do that. Maybe if you have like a really small function, which actually in this instance it is, it may, but generally I just implement it out. So, so to actually create an object of your class is very simple. It, you can think of it as like string, string, is an object, it's a class. You hash include the string file and then you create objects that are strings, unlike integers which aren't. So what we're gonna do is use the class name, which is vehicle, then our variable name is gonna call it BMW Toyota, and then we can do BMW dot speed equal 900, semicolon missing, and then what we can do is Toyota dot speed equals 89 and we can do std c out the only view dot speed std end line now if we just open up the console run this and it prints out 900 if we would change this bmw here to toyota and run it it prints out 89 because it has its own values it contains its own data which is great obviously if you if you have a game you have several cards you're racing against several cards they're going to be at different speeds most likely they're going to be at different positions they're going to probably have different uh, damage amounts if you have that sort of property if you have those sort of properties within your game and obviously this is extendable to applications and other games and what we're going to show you is bmw.print function if we run this we get the BMW print function. That is it for an introduction to classes. These are immensely powerful. If you're going to be doing any sort of serious programming in general, if you're going to have a programming career, you'll be coming across object oriented programming a lot. So go over this, I'll say, a few more times. And when you feel comfortable, check out our next part of this tutorial, which will cover class access, basically public and uh, what have you. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.